Justin Karitskis joins me now. You wrote this incredible screenplay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How does it feel to have this finally come to life? From what I understand, your first produced screenplay, correct? Yeah. No, it's really incredible. And to have it done like this and uh, in Westwood, you know, I, I'm from L.A., so to be at this theater. Hometown hero right here. Yeah, this is really, really meaningful to me. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad that it's so special. You know, Luca called this a bit of a homecoming, this L.A. premiere, even for him. Uh, what was it like, him specifically, being the director to breathe life into your words? Oh, man. I mean, Luca is such a master filmmaker, and, you know, he really just speaks the language of cinema fluently. And so getting to watch him work was like uh, going to film school every day, you know. Um, yeah, it's really special to be there with him. And Zendaya, as our leading lady... We're gonna need that all night. Thank you. Every time we say Zendaya, just like massive cheers. Thank you in advance. <laughs> um, working with her also as a producer, which is absolutely incredible. What was the highlight for you? Oh man, I mean, she's, she's so smart and so hands-on with every aspect of filmmaking. And she's really uh, the kind of actor who treats her work like she's a filmmaker. Um, so she's looking at the monitor, she's in, in the production office, in rehearsal. Um, so it, it's really, really incredible to see her be so involved and hands-on, and um, yeah. And there are so many incredible aspects to this film. I don't want to give anything away for those who haven't seen it yet, but I'm curious, what have you most been interested in communicating or saying via this production, via the screenplay? Oh, man. Uh, you know, honestly, I just hope that watching the movie is as exciting and unpredictable as watching a great tennis match. And that's, that's kind of uh, all I want. Yeah. And whatever people take from it, um, that's, that's up to them. Yeah. yeah. Well, beautifully said and beautifully done. Absolutely incredible film. Congratulations, Justin. Have fun tonight. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the first sort of kernel of the idea came from um, I happened to be watching the US Open in 2018. And before that, I wasn't a big tennis fan or even like a big sports fan. But it was this match between Serena Williams, who's here tonight, and uh, Naomi Osaka. And there was this really controversial call where the umpire said that Serena Williams received coaching from the sidelines. And she got really upset and said, that didn't happen. I would never do that. And um, I had never heard of that rule, but immediately it struck me as really cinematic that you're all alone on your side of the court and there's only one other person who cares as much about what happens to you as you do, but you can't talk to them. And so how would you communicate the tension of that situation using film? And that was kind of it. And then from there, I was doing research, but really I was becoming like a massive tennis fan and started watching every match I could get my hands on. The desire to write the movie came from this real desire I had as a fan of tennis, which was that I was thinking, okay, what could I write that would be as good as watching tennis? And what would make watching tennis even better? And for me, the question of what would make watching tennis even better was if I could know exactly what was at stake, like on an emotional, microscopic level for everybody, the players, the coaches, everyone. And uh, if I could just have somebody whispering into my ear like everything that was going on with them in their heads. Uh, and so I always knew that the movie was going to work like that, you know, uh, because that's what I wanted to watch. Well, Luca would be an incredible choice for any movie, honestly. Um, he's one of the best directors in the world. Um, and uh, I feel incredibly grateful and honored that he made this movie part of his filmography. You know, it's just such a serious thing. Um, in our first conversation, he said to me, uh, I know next to nothing about tennis, but I know a great deal about desire. And uh, after he said that, I was completely sold. <laughs> a lot of that um, unspoken glances and you know stuff that's communicated between the characters on the court when they can't talk to each other, that was in the script. But obviously, when you're working with people who are at the top of their game, like these actors and like Luca and our DP and, you know, everybody. Um, you find so many uh, little moments 
that are say everything about a character, you know. And we were discovering stuff like that every day because these guys are so uh, they were so keyed into who their characters were, but they're also just so talented and you know good at what they do. I, I want them to to feel whatever they want to feel, but. I hope that the journey of it is as exciting and unpredictable and dynamic as watching a great tennis match. You know, um, that's really where it came from for me. I wanted to make a movie that felt like watching a great sports game. Um, so that's that's what I hope they feel.